the Age of Criminal Responsibility Scotland Act 2019. The Scottish Government wants Scotland to be the best place for children to grow up, for children to have the best opportunity to be loved, safe and protected, and to help them realise their full potential. We want to get it right for every child. This means we get to know you and help you in the best way we can to make you feel supported. Scotland has raised the age of criminal responsibility from 8 to 12 years of age. This means that children under the age of 12 can no longer be charged or arrested. The Act helps keep you safe. This means if you have found yourself behaving in a way that involves the police, there is help to make sure you are kept safe and supported at all times. We want to make sure that anyone affected by harmful behaviour, no matter what age they are, gets the help and support they need to move forward. So how will incidents involving children under 12 be dealt with? This is Taylor. He is 11 years old and lives at home with his brother and dad. He likes football, gaming and art, and spending time with his dog. Taylor's parents separated when he was four. His mother died when he was 10 from an illness. Taylor moved to live with his dad after his mum died. His dad is looking for a job whilst looking after Taylor and his brother. Taylor goes to his local school. He gets on well with teachers and other pupils, but sometimes he is angry and frustrated and confused. At school he is a bit unsettled. He gets additional support to help him through these difficult feelings. A few months ago, Taylor vandalised a shop near his school and began swearing at people who were asking him to stop. To make sure he is OK, his teacher referred him to the Children's Reporter and now the Social Work Department are trying to help Taylor and his family. How does this make Taylor feel? I miss my mum. Why do I always get into trouble? It's not fair. My dad only pays attention to me when I'm in trouble. How do I not get the same things like other children do? I'm bored. The incident. A few weeks later, Taylor is still struggling. He feels that there is so much change and uncertainty going on at home. He goes to the shop again. Taylor picks up a bottle of aftershave and starts to leave. Craig, a member of staff in the shop, asks Taylor if he is going to pay for the aftershave. Taylor feels threatened and has lots of bottled up sadness and anger from his home life. He panics and lashes out at Craig, spitting, kicking and hitting him, then throwing the aftershave at him and runs out of the shop through fear. Craig's face was bleeding and his nose was broken. Craig now has the same feelings as Taylor has from his home life, scared, upset and hurt. Craig's boss calls the police and shows them the camera footage. The police recognise Taylor, as it is the same police from the vandalism. How does Craig feel? What will be done about this? If I complain, will he come after me again? Should I go to the police? Who can support me? He's just a kid. Will the crime be taken seriously by the police? Did I provoke it? Will he be arrested? The role of the police. The police speak to Craig and let him know he can get help with his feelings from the incident. This includes support from an organisation called Victim Support Scotland. The police speak to Taylor at his house, where his dad is there with him. The police let Taylor know that he will not be charged or arrested. They explain to Taylor that they will need to look into what happened a bit more and make a note of it. They also tell Taylor that they will have to let his social worker know. The police talk with Taylor's social worker and through the chat they realise that Taylor needs some more support at home. They refer Taylor to the children's reporter so he can get the correct support to make him feel better and to stop things like this from happening again the role of the children's reporter. Taylor already has had support from his school, social worker and his family. There is now an opportunity that Taylor could get even more help to feel more secure at home, at school and in the community. 
Until now, the social worker has been working with Taylor and his family on a voluntary basis. It has been with their agreement. The children's reporter has to decide whether to arrange a children's hearing for Taylor so that he can be made subject to a compulsory supervision order. Now the social worker has spoken with Taylor's dad in his school. Taylor really struggled in the past few months to express how he feels about his home life in school. Taylor's dad has had a lot of changes in his life and he is struggling to help Taylor or to understand what Taylor needs to feel more secure at home. He is finding Taylor increasingly difficult to control, but he has been very reluctant to meet with the social worker to try to improve things. The reporter decides to arrange a children's hearing. Because Taylor is under 12, he was not charged with vandalising the shop wall or the incident in the shop, but that doesn't mean that nothing happens. The role of the children's hearing system. Taylor is invited to a children's hearing. His dad, social worker and teacher are all invited too. The children's panel are three adults who all have Taylor's best interests at heart. They will listen to Taylor and his dad along with his social worker and teacher to make the best decision for Taylor. All the people invited are there to help support Taylor and help him feel better at home, school and when he is outside playing with his friends. Taylor and his dad agree that Taylor has experienced a lot of disruption over the past few months and needs some help. The children's panel can now decide on how they can help Taylor and his family. Instead of Taylor getting a criminal record, the panel will think about all the things going on in Taylor's life and will work out what is best for him. The hearing decides to put Taylor on a compulsory supervision order. This means Taylor will get support to help him work through some of the problems he is having at home, at school and when he is out with his friends. The hearing also wants supportive adults to help Taylor process his grief from the loss of his mum. The hearing believe that Taylor is expressing how he feels through his behaviour. The role of the social worker. If you have a social worker, it is their job to help you and your family. To do this, they will get to know you and your family to help support you where you might need it. Taylor's social worker will help him with his feelings and behaviours and help him feel more settled at home, school and in the community. Support for victims. What support do victims get when responding to the incident? When it was decided that Taylor should get more support, he was invited to a children's hearing. Just like Taylor is getting help to work through his feelings, Craig is also offered some help. After what happened in the shop, Craig was feeling scared and he needed some extra help to get through this. Craig received help from Victim Support Scotland. This helped Craig work through some of his feelings of what happened on the day in the shop. The Scottish Government works to make sure children who find themselves in difficult situations get the help they need. This includes a positive place to learn new things, whilst making sure they stay safe in their community. Let's work together to ensure that the rights of children in Scotland are protected and upheld, and to prevent children and young people from being involved in behaviour that bring them into contact with the police. Scotland's children are relying on us to get this right for them. We need a Scotland that values, cherishes and loves our children and young people. It's all of our responsibility.